Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So lately I've been doing this series on testing materials for improvised body armor. Today we're doing something just a little bit different in that we're testing a material for improvised building armor. And this is kind of loosely based on a uh, armor system that's marketed by a company under the name Barracuda Armor. And, you know, their system consists of these wall panels that are hollow, and once you install them, then you fill them up with these ceramic marbles. And so the idea is that a bullet will go through the outer uh, wall of the panel, it'll hit the marbles, maybe shatter a few marbles, but the ceramic marbles will stop the bullet, and then gravity will cause them to redistribute, so the armor is self-healing. Now, that got me thinking, well, couldn't you just do the same thing with a regular wall panel and common gravel? Uh, I think intuitively we know that gravel is a pretty good medium for stopping bullets. I mean, I'm standing in a gravel pit because it's a good place to do these tests because it provides a good backstop for any kind of shooting activities. Uh, so I went ahead and built some simulated wall panels just out of studs and OSB board. Uh, we know from previous testing that this OSB is going to do just about nothing to stop a bullet, but if we fill up this box with gravel, that might provide some genuine ballistic protection. And I built a couple different thicknesses of panels. Uh, this one, of course, uses two by sixes, so the actual thickness of gravel is about five and a half inches. Uh, this one's built with two by fours, so three and a half inches of gravel. And this one uh, is two by two lumber, so about an inch and a half of gravel. So let's go ahead and fill these up with gravel from our gravel pit here, and then we'll see what they're capable of stopping. Okay, so let's start with the uh, two by two panel. And as usual, we'll start by shooting it with the nine millimeter, representing sort of the lower half of the handgun cartridge power spectrum. Well, we got kind of a mixed result. Uh, looks like these two bullets definitely went through. That one looks like it was stopped. Not sure about that one. And then I did find a 9mm bullet just lying on the table behind the panel. So, you know, clearly this is doing something. You know, it stopped one of the bullets. I think it slowed the others down quite a bit. Uh, so it is certainly better than nothing, but I think it's really just not enough thickness of gravel to provide the kind of ballistic protection that we're looking for. So let's move up to the 2x4 panel and see if that does any better. Okay, so I fired three shots with the 9mm. One of them passed through the panel and the other two were stopped cleanly by it. So I think this thickness does provide some protection but because the gravel is not real uniform, uh, it leaves a finite probability of having weak spots in the armor. Let's see what the 44 Magnum will do to our 2x4 panel of gravel here. Okay, with the 44 Magnum, I shot it twice basically in the same hole, and yet we have no pass through at all. So this thing seems to be reasonably resilient to handgun rounds, its limitation being not so much the power of the handgun as the uniformity of the panel. Now let's see what happens when we shoot this with the 223. Okay, so I shot this thing four times with the 223, and we have absolutely no pass-through. So 
this appears to be capable of stopping light rifle rounds effectively, as long as you don't get an air pocket or whatever it was that allowed that lonely 9mm bullet to make it through. What do you say we put this stuff's self-healing properties to the test properly by dumping a whole magazine of 223 right into the center of that panel? Well, clearly my rifle is shooting a little bit low. You know, I was holding the crosshairs right about here, and the group is centered right about here. Uh, that said, of all the shots that we put into this thing, none of them went through. I'm impressed. Okay, so aside from that singular rogue 9mm bullet that made it all the way through, uh, this improvised armor panel has proven effective for stopping 9mm, 44 Magnum, and 223. Uh, logically, the next thing to hit it with would be a 308 rifle firing armor piercing black tip ammunition. Unfortunately, at the moment, I have neither a 308 rifle nor any black tip ammunition on hand uh, to perform that test. So the closest thing I would have to a 308 would be the 25-06 hunting rifle. Let's go ahead and shoot it with that and see what happens. Well, with the 25-06, I hit it right where it's already been shot a bunch before, and we still have no pass-through. Okay, at this point I think we can conclude that a 2x4 wall filled with loose gravel is remarkably effective at stopping most common rifle and handgun bullets. Not sure what it would do with special military armor-piercing ammunition. Uh, we're not able to test that here today. But still, pretty impressive performance from something that would be so easy to improvise. Now, if you do decide to build some kind of a safe room using uh, this technique, a couple of things to bear in mind. Number one, I would probably try to screen the gravel or something to get it as uniform as possible, because we did have that one 9mm bullet that found an air pocket or something and managed to go all the way through. Uh, so, number one, I would probably try to take precautions to make sure the gravel is as uniform as possible. Uh, and then number two, recall our earlier test where we stacked up about that thickness of solid OSB and a 9mm bullet zipped right through it. Well. You know, you're know you going to have studs in your wall, and so uh, while the gravel might stop a bullet, the studs will not, and that's a weak point that would need to be addressed one way or another. Uh, anyway, uh, still very interesting test. Um, you know, I have the 2x6 panel as well that we haven't shot yet, but at this point I don't think there's any point to testing it because I don't have anything that's going to go through it based on what we saw with the 2x4 panel. Uh, maybe someday if I get my hands on some heavier artillery, uh, we can put that one to the test later. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching the Idahoan Show.